So today I'm going to paint the walls and work on this back step down here that I've been fretting. I don't know if you can see it right there. So I'm gonna get working on that, but I do need to clean right here so that I can uh, finish painting. So I'm gonna work on the painting and that little spot right over there. about 65 million seriously holes in the wall seriously <laughs> so my next step in this is to uh, get some spackling and clean it this door is a mess too it's a steel door and it's seen it's better days. And I've got this bend right here. I need to straighten that out. It doesn't seem to be interfering, but I just don't like it. So I'll have to get all that cleaned up. I'm gonna need some new weather stripping, obviously. But these are stains, they won't come off. So let me get spackling, I'm, I'm not kidding. You ought to see those walls. All the little pinholes in those walls. So let me get on that. This spot right here, I made a mistake on it. This goes through to the refrigerator on the other side of this wall. And I disconnected it when I was wiring the living room. I should not have done that. So this is something I'm gonna have to repair, I'm gonna put back because I know a refrigerator needs its dedicated circuit, but this one only runs the uh, closet light. So I don't think that'll be too much of a load. And there's nothing over here. You're right by a door. So I don't know what you plug in there. I may just cap that off. I don't know. But I do have to repair that. I was trying to keep each room on its own breaker. So that's why I disconnected it, not realizing this and the closet light are the only thing that was on this. So now I've got to rewire that. But that'll be another day, but I just want to show you that. Okay, so I was working on the trim. I was using that Valspar, which I have to say, I'm not a fan of Valspar. No offense, Valspar, but it's supposed to be high hiding white. Hi, hiding white my butt. I can still, I don't think you can see it on here, but you can still see the color of the original trim under that. And I know this seems backward, doing the trim first, but I can cut in under trim a whole lot better than I can doing it the other way. So I'm doing the trim first. So I'm gonna get back on that. See the difference from this white to that white? It's a huge difference. So it's going to take a second coat, but I'm going to keep working on the other trim while that dries and all that uh, spackling dries. All right, coat two of the trim.
can't figure out how I'm gonna get the trim way up here. This is over the closet. on this ladder. Ooh. Don't know how I'm gonna reach on that trim. This is high as I can go. It's not as bad as I, the top of this closet is as bad as I thought. It's bare wood. So I'll have to work on that another day. But it's getting too dark in here. So I'm gonna call painting for a day. I did get a lot of trim done. Got a lot to go about all the floor. And uh, our air conditioner bit the dust. Of course, it's been dead. <clears throat> Let me get down off this ladder. <sighs> this wall was messed up. So we had to redo it. And this right here is where the air conditioner belongs. We just got it blocked off so we don't get cats, dogs, and God forbid snakes. So the air conditioner is over here. Actually, it's a heat pump. It's a through the wall heat pump. It's dead. It got wet. So we're having to order another one. That should be on its way. And then I've got to move this island. And I promise you, I promise you, it's solid wood, and it's worse than moving a piano. So I better wait for the guys to get home this weekend. And please help me get this out of here. I can use a chop saw on the floor. So tomorrow I'll pick up with the second coat of trim. And take those hinges off over there. I've got new ones. And uh, maybe start painting the walls. Okay, next is this uh, step down from the back. And I, I know this is all torn up. I kind of left that board in place to protect the one behind it, and then I lay new ones across this way. So that's just to protect the uh, groove in the one behind it. This first piece will come out. But I did find, yay, the concrete pieces that fell off this. This is a concrete step meeting up with plywood and I did find the pieces that go here so I'm hoping yeah that's how it goes I'm hoping that I can glue that back just for extra support that's really pretty smooth glue that back and then take some wood putty or concrete patch or something to fix that ledge. But right now, I need to take this part of the baseboard out over to this door. Ooh. I'll attend to that. So that I can put a one by two across here. Whoops. Across here as an extra I've got a bull nose coming over the end, so that I'll have an extra piece. And then I need to put wood here, but I've got to get this wood out. This wire chase is in my way. I really don't want to mess with that. A chase, I guess that's what you call it. Don't know. But I want to try to leave that intact if I can. I don't know that I can. <laughs> so I need to get this out to get the wood out. To put a one by 2 here. And then put more glue on in front of it. Put the baseboard back. So that's my next task.
finally. Ooh. All right. Now, original paneling. <laughs> now I can get all this out. Mask. Ugh. Ugh. Yep, there's another one by another one by down there. Okay, that one's fine. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I never can find anything. Oh. Then, put some glue on. Not sure what to do with that. I may just have to add a piece. I, I don't know. But I gotta work on this. Sorry, this is nasty. Let's see what's under there. Let's see. I think it's just all caulk, or most of it. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I should laugh. Mine will probably look like that too <laughs> when I get done, because I'm still learning. Oh. What is that? All right. not very thick. Hey, you like them apples? Huh. What to do about that? I'll just have to cut something out when the time comes. I have no idea. I don't know. <laughs> 